There we go. Hello, hello, come on in. Hey, Deanne, how are you doing? Oh, I still got my volume up. Hi, Dawn. Oh, I think, hi, Francine and Diana. I think um, Deb was gonna share it, but I will go ahead. Hi, Angela. Hi, Sue. Hi, everybody. You're sitting with your grandson. Are you at their house or your house? Why isn't it showing my group? can't find it we had a um birthday party to go to oh there it is okay hi laura hi laura hi, at their house so today i'm going to make a pixie wreath and if you don't know what that is hi joan um it is just a smaller wreath frame um it's a little bit smaller wreath and we are going to do um jesus is the anchor of my soul so i am a wreath maker but i also do other crafts but i wanted to do a small wreath on at least one of my lives um i am raising money for alzheimer's today um for those of you who didn't know my dad had alzheimer's and he passed away last year so this will be my first father-in-law or father's day without him um Floyd has pinned the my page for the Alzheimer's um, site if you would like to donate. There is so much unknown about Alzheimer's. Um, with modern technology, you would think they would be able to, to pin things out. I thank you for donating, um, but they just don't know. They, they don't know. They can treat symptoms, but they really can't treat the disease itself. So if you can't, you know, if you can't afford a lot, you know, I don't expect a lot. But, you know, $5 times 100 people, you know, is is some money. So if you can donate, I would much, much appreciate it. So I'm going to have Floyd change cameras for me. So you can see exactly what I'm doing. So I've cut some natural fabric mesh and some navy blue with a white um 25 inches and we're going to do what they call a woodland roll where you roll it on the ends a little bit and then you scrunch it up through the middle i hope everybody's having a great day we're staying extremely busy as Floyd says, too busy for myself. My granddaughter's turning eight, so we had her potty earlier. And then we just put them on there, and it makes like a little butterfly. And then we'll alternate the colors. Sometimes I have to stare at it just to make sure I'm doing the right one first. My dad had Alzheimer's. It's a big umbrella, Alzheimer's dementia. Hi, Pat. 
for about the last three years of his life, we started noticing just simple things. Hi, Ricky. He didn't know who my grandson was, who had came out to visit. He thought he was someone different walking through the cemetery. Um, my parents were, my dad was a cemetery sexton, caretaker, grave digger. And they lived, they actually bought, it was an old church right next to a cemetery of one where he took care of. And um, they built a three-bedroom apartment, not my parents, but somebody had built a three-bedroom apartment on the on the back of the church and my mom had an antique store there she's since retired hi Deb hi Deb welcome thank you for coming Hi, Tammy. How are you doing? Hi, Tammy. Oh, hi, Ricky. Hi, Ricky. Ricky, Ricky. I know I've probably missed some people, so hi, everybody. I was staring at the computer. I'm working. He's working over there. That's what he always tells me. I'm working over here. Thank you. So all this week, I will be going live and raising money on my Mondays and Wednesday nights. Deb says she loves your shirt. I seen that. Thank you. Um, I will be raising money all week. So my Monday and my Wednesday normal nights, I'll still be going live, but it will be for Alzheimer's. Who knows what I'll make today? I wanted to make a little wreath. posted a picture of what I made yesterday in another group. It was a father's favorites. Oh, I did it again. The pixies are so small. Um, they call them a pixie. Well, Katie actually started calling them a pixie. Actually went on the inside on that one and not the outside. I thought it was kind of close. Hi Patty. Hi, Patty. Long time no see, huh? It's another another uh, unusual night for us. Yeah. Or afternoon, rather, not night. Yep. So I have two lives today. I have my private group at seven. If you're not one of my followers, I would greatly appreciate if you'd hit the three dots up at the corner and follow me. It'll let you know when I go live. It's a pretty, it's a pretty nice day today. It's kind of wet. It rained early this morning. We know when it's raining because it drips on the air conditioner. <laughs> We're like, is that rain? We do not need, I know there's parts in the country. Oh, thank you, Patty. I had to hit up the Dollar Tree on the way down to my granddaughter's because I needed one of the, the biggest bags. And I even had a hard time putting her present in there. She had one of Squish Mallow. I don't know. It's a big pillow. It feels like memory foam almost. What she wanted. I stuffed it in there. And our grandbaby always gets what she wants. And she, Peanut gets what she wants. She's a papa's girl, but you know, she kind of likes grandma or grandpa eat around. She has always been a papa's girl. Some of the young other grandchildren kind of trade off after they hit like milestones in their development. Not that one. She is a papa's girl. Oh, awesome. <laughs> Yeah, that would be to my husband. He is the IT department and he is the shipping department. 
if you're new to my page, thank you for coming. I am Jeanette. My husband is Floyd, and we are Backroom Creations. And I'm not just the IT department. No, he department. does do lives when I have to work late. Um, he makes this. Well, I, I usually design the signs. He's got a few in there that are his. He presses them. Now he's got a laser. He's he's the research and development team. Hi, Katie Boo Boo. Hi, Katie. Long time no see to you too. Katie is the, actually the one that taught me how to make a pixie wreath during COVID. She started making pixie wreaths for all the residents in her dad's um, nursing home. Or in the wing, at least. And we would really appreciate it if all of you would sprinkle. Yep, please spread the glitter is what we do here. Or float the boat, fly the kite. I have found a lot of the crafting friends that I'm meeting have some very interesting things that they spread her that they spread around um pour the coffee um trying to think of some of the lot other of creative ways. ways there is a lot of creative ways oh um carol ruth has spread the spores or mushrooms <laughs> Yeah, I knew she made a ton of them. Every time I turn around, she's making a pixie. So we started making them too. That's a lot of pixies, Katie. <laughs> From a guy that's made a lot, but not near that many. Yeah, Floyd likes pixies. Spread the grace. Spread the graces for Deb. Somebody probably, I'm thinking probably Lori, paddle the boat. Oh, is there a puddle of the boat? I don't know. I've just been meeting so many people through, you know, I've been in some events recently and um, just watching lives and stuff from all different kinds of crafting, you know, because even though I started as a wreath maker, I started crafting as a kid. So it just kind of. Oh, um, absolutely. That was well worth it, Katie. Oh, yeah. You know, we lost his mom this year. Um, she wasn't in a nursing home. Or I probably done the same thing. But so if you've never seen wreath making. This is kind of what we do, and there's different folds and um, different ways of making things. I've been following Katie for, I think, about three years now. Now, his mom, um, she got her leg amputated. She was highly diabetic, so she wouldn't heal from any um, wounds. And so she's been um, in a wheelchair for the last, I don't know, 10, 12 years. And um, we got her prosthetic, prosthetic. Well, then she fell and broke her shoulder. Um, and then she was just timid. She didn't want to, you know, we could, we could pick her up and put her in her wheelchair, but she would like fight us to do it. And then towards the end, she was just, I think she was just wore out really and um it was getting to the point where um she wasn't eating she was barely drinking um my father-in-law was wore out my father-in-law last year went through heart surgery um it's been a rough couple of years but she had gone straight to hospice and if you don't know hospice you can only and where she was at was only for five days 
and she passed away on the fifth day. But she she had struggled for a long, long time. So it was almost a, a blessing for her. I'll make sure which thing I'm doing. So we have my mom who is 400 miles away doing great that woman has not gone to the doctor in 35 years i'm like mom and then his dad's local here it does she she just did not heal um we spent almost two years trying to get her leg to heal and so uh she finally had to have it amputee and What are you what about? Sometimes I forget what I say. Like, I don't know what I do. I think the hardest part of my journey was that I didn't get to see my dad. Hi, Darlene. Welcome. Because of COVID, they were very old school. Yes, yeah, no doctor in 35 years. None. See, that's the way I grew up. We grew up with no insurance. My dad um, was an auto body mechanic, and so he was on commission. And you just didn't go to the doctor unless you were, like, really, really sick. So, um, you know, my mom still does it. Well, she's got some insurance, um, you know, Medicaid, Medicare, whatever they call it. Um, but anyway, she's she didn't tell me the other day mom and dad did not get the uh, – the COVID shots, and then um, after my dad died, she went and got it. So, they're just very, very old school. I work at Walmart, big retailer, so they wouldn't let me come visit because they're like, no, you'll bring us germs. So... It's hard... But now I can remember my dad the way he was. So, sorry. Anyway, this is a pixie. So, it starts on an 8-inch frame. 8-inch frame here. And it gets all the way to 18 inches. So, this is a very nice size for nursing homes, for um, apartments, you know, seniors, assisted living, So I'm actually using some yellow mustard and some anchor. Yep. Some anchor ribbon. <laughs> I know, Katie, I'm crying too. So let's stop. <laughs> Thanks, Angela. So I just bought mustard colored ribbon. I've never bought it before, but a lady had requested a darker yellow. And so I bought some, and I'm actually really liking it. So I don't use a work wreath form. i sorry, Ricky. <laughs> but um, because they're elevated, if you know what I'm talking about, um, but I just like, it. it's just Dollar Tree. You know, these are 50 cents or, well, sorry, it's five quarters for two of these in a pack. So you can make two wreaths. And I just use pipe cleaners. And then this one's just got a natural and an anchor. Love the nautical and coastal themes. It's so small that sometimes you get the outer and the inner rings. I know. Isn't it nice for fall? But it also, I mean, I almost don't put, I've had to unpack or undo some of my pastels 
last year I made a mint green Christmas wreath. I made a pink one. Um, so I, I, I hate to put anything away. So, but I have a, one of those closet shoe organizers that I put ribbon in and I'm just going to put the pastels in there because I got a lot of four inch ribbon. Thank you. Hi, Sharon. How are you doing? If you're just coming with us, this is our sign. Jesus is the anchor of my soul. We do make our own song. Uh, yeah, it's afternoon. <laughs> Katie, I told Angela you were asking about her. We're, right now we're calling her a bobblehead because she's on some painkillers. I, I ordered some mustard yellow and I got some moss green. I had to finish up a custom order. So I have four ribbons and we're just... I know. <laughs> She hasn't been on for a while. That's okay, Sharon. This is not my regular day, but we're raising money for Alzheimer's. The link is pinned up at the top. Even if you could give $5, everything, every little penny will help. There's just so much not known about it. And now, you know, we think another relative has it. I'm not going to say who because he might watch. But, um, you know, and I swear men always go through the denial phase. Can you give me a couple of tissues, babe? You're crying. Yeah. Thank you. Hey, Lori, how you doing? I haven't seen you in a while. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Lori. It's blank. Does that mean she sent me stars? Or an emoji. Or an emoji. I can never tell because we use StreamYard. He has to tell me on Facebook or on the computer. Thank you, Lori. So all this week, all my lives, you will not hear me say once anything about any kind of money for groups or products or anything it's all about raising awareness and raising money for alzheimer's there's a lot of different if you didn't know there's a lot of different kinds of alzheimer's now you'll see that these two are the same but in a pixie you got to do that and you'll never know i'll put hey, the bow there oh thank you so much i need a star sign i got some stars i got some stars <laughs> oh my. hey at least i'm not like angela going whoop, whoop. <laughs> so we're gonna jump in the middle here oh i can go slow Slow. I know. I got to put a new battery in my clock. I'm looking at it last night and I'm going, I got time. He's like, no, you don't. I hate not to, I, I hate not finishing your project when you're timed and alive. Last year, Katie had a marathon, and we were doing Christmas in July, and I, did, I decided to do a yardstick. Her requirement was that we had to have a grapevine. So I do this yardstick swag, and the, and the grapevine was the snowman's tummy. I tell you what, I had an hour and a half, and I was yanking and banking to get that done. She was. I started out pacing myself, but... I mean, 36 inches, it was huge. I still have it. It's mine. I'm keeping it. (laughs) 
So if you're new and you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thanks. Yeah, I won. I painted the grapevine white. Aww. Aww. It is, Janice. So sorry to hear that, Janice. I'll be thinking about you. It is. It's nasty. Because you just don't know. There are so many, like, I got, because my mom and dad weren't on the internet. Well, she's still not. And, um, so I got her some books and sent them to her because there's like phases, but you don't know ever know how fast or slow or what phase they're in. Um, you know, they may start not at the beginning or they may go really fast. You just, you know, through the phases, you just never know. So here I'll have the same two of this one. And a big wreath, they even out because there's 10 on the outside. Probably could have made my bow as fast as I've gone. But we're gonna keep, we're gonna put my battery in my glue gun. I call that the monster because it burns. And you can take your ribbons and spread them apart if you want to. This is my sign. We attach them with cable mounts and some DAP super glue. I only put three on there no more anymore because I don't want to have to worry about that outside one. It'll be on the outside of the wreath because it's hard to hide that one. And it's not like you really need four. Floyd only puts two on his. Yeah, a little bit. sign kind of just get it to where I'm going to put it in so usually I put my bow in first because I want to nestle my sign in there I had already put I usually make my bow just because it doesn't take me as long as I used to when I first started making lives I was scared to death I mean Angela was there with me in the beginning and I had a different room I was in a smaller room and wouldn't allow Floyd to talk. <laughs> and now I'm just like, hit the button, let's go. But I never, I didn't make uh, bows for the first, I think, four months that I went live. None of my wreaths had bows because I didn't know how to make them. So this is what we call a Lisa, I call it a Lisa Funky. And look at me now. I've grown up. I go live on Monday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern and Wednesday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern. Any recommendations for a beginner with a new channel? um stay true to yourself hi joanne you know don't try to fit in with any certain group 
you know, I'm not saying there's bad groups out there. It's just everything is catered to their agenda a lot of times. You know, don't um, take everybody's advice. You know, take my advice with a grain of salt. You have to do what works for you. Um, I do have a YouTube and a Facebook. And don't overspend what you can get into it. You know, don't break yourself in the in the sake of buying pretty things. You know, it depends on if you're trying to replace an income or if you're just trying to do it on the side to keep you busy. Get a little extra money. You slow down. I know. I'm fluffing my bow. I am trying to replace an in income because I would like to retire from my job and stay home and make pretty things all day. But there's a lot more to a business than just making pretty things. Hi, Monica. How are you doing? I haven't seen you in a while. I'm very sorry, Donna, to hear that. Thank you, Patty. Patty's so cute. She's usually signed on to my YouTube channel before um, we even go live. Sometimes there's a couple of them and they're just chatting away before I've even gone live. <laughs> Oh, yuck. He made his own doctor's appointment? Whoa. Boyd's the same way. I'm like, you need to go to the doctor. Yeah, I guess. Do you want me to make you a doctor's appointment? I guess. But he's had three meniscus discs, meniscus disc repair on one knee, and they wanted to do the other knee, and he said, no. It's not quite as bad as the other knee, but... Sometimes it really gives him fits. I am loving this yellow and navy. So if you struggle to make bows, practice. Aww. I am an advocate for Alzheimer's all year long. You know, of course, you know, June is Alzheimer's. Thank you, Francine. I do have a couple bow tutorials on my page. They're free. I don't delete any of my my videos. Where did I get the yellow ribbon? Hold on, I'll tell you. Shopfishstreet.com. See that? That's how much it was. This one was $4.95. And she is amazing at getting things out very, very fast. I'd ordered it for a custom order. Yo, you're welcome, Kathy. I was at the beginning. I was just like prim and proper. And Floyd would have to whisper to me, talk, talk. And I'm not that person. I could talk. Talk at you. It's been a while since I've done a public um, bow making. But no. I did two bows. I did a seven ribbon bow here lately. I would say two to three months ago. If you message me, I, I keep a book with all my lives, like what I made. So if you message me, I can, I can tell you the date I made it. Okay. I think I fluffed this enough. Might trim up some tails once we get it on here. This is this is a pretty big bow for a pixie, but you know, go big or go home. Still have 25 minutes. I know. If I gotta make another bow, I'll make another bow. Hey precious. Did you ask Janice what she missed? The bow um live. Ah. 
Thanks okay, Katie, by, thank Katie. you. Always a pleasure to have you on our live. I'm trying to not get a glare. Go to shopfistry.com. Why is it called a pixie? Um, well, she left. So I'm not right sure why she called it a pixie, but a pixie is always smaller. So I'm assuming that's why she named it a pixie. Sounds better than a small reef. Smaller reef. <laughs> It's never a dumb question. Sometimes I leave my tails longer. You can always trim them, but you can never glue them back. Yep, shopfishstreet.com. I love ordering from her. So a lot of times when I need a certain ribbon, she's got it. And she ships out like the day you order or the very next day. She's awesome. Janice, look at the message right above you, honey, on Joanne's message. So those of you that maybe are not a wreath maker, but you like, you use ribbon, um, wired ribbon is the only ribbon a wreath maker will use, but. Unless you're very adventurous. Well, some crafters just don't need wired ribbon. When I first started making wreaths, you know, gross grain ribbon has a lot of cute patterns on it. It's a lot cheaper. Well, thank you, ladies, for putting the link in there for the ribbon. Thank you, Angela. I actually used liquid starch. True story. She did. To stiffen my ribbons in my wreaths. And I'm like, this is a lot of work. I can't keep doing this. Because when I first started, you know, I just bought things at Joann's. Or I, first time I ever went to Hobby Lobby was about mm, seven, eight months after I started making wreaths. And it was Christmas time. I was like a kid in a candy shop. They wouldn't replace his knees back then. They said he was too young. Because he was probably mid 30s then no uh, it wasn't that long ago when you had your knee surgeries i don't remember we've been together 18 years oh <laughs> uh, there is not a whole lot i don't share mainly because everybody's got funny stories everybody has a skeleton in their closet and mine's, well, actually, what's in my closet right now is flowers. Okay. I think I've butchered those enough. So we're going to put our sign on. Am I at 22? Okay. Five minutes slow. I've got to change the batteries in it. I get going really fast and then that's why I didn't make a great big wreath because I didn't I usually go just slightly over an hour but I only get an hour because there might be somebody I think there's somebody after me Yes, Joanne, we make our own signs. I thought you knew that. So 
looking for a hole down here. So when you wrap your um, pipe cleaners around, you always kind of want to do a figure eight because um, depending on the weight of anything you are using to attach, um, it might loosen up. But if you just wrap, 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 I thought I was at four. I'm sorry. Four central time. My bad. This weekend's just been one thing after another, but thank you. Thanks. So you never want to attach your sign too tight on one side or else it'll be lopsided. It'll be a wonky sign. This ribbon's a little, when I pulled on it, it wanted to fray a little bit. So I'll trim that up. Sometimes I don't put that one, that set of ribbons on. You see how the sign kind of makes it go flat, but we're going to leave them on. Well, I know next week, on Monday and Wednesday, I'm good because I signed up for my times that I normally go live. So flatten these down. So the, the wonderful thing about we fluff our bow and then we flip our wreath over and then we flatten our bow, flatten it, and then we got to fluff it back up. I love bows now that I can make them. <laughs> Sometimes you can just move it around a little bit. pull those together so they don't kind of stick up in the air. So now what I'm going to do, you can see a little bit of that white pipe cleaner and that's okay because I'm going to put a shell in it. I have a great big box of shells. Some big ones, some little ones. I don't want too big of a one. If you watch me, you know what the bundles are. Hi Pam. Hey Rumi. Did I hear that right? You went live at the wrong time? Yeah. Okay. So I wonder if I signed up for the wrong time for Monday and Wednesday, Deb. Oh, that shell got hot. I just put a little bit a little bit of shell around it. You can see that down in there. I think that's the only one. That's sticking out. That's not the only place you have to put them. Pam is doing lives now. She's a newbie. Could even put one on our sign. May have to put. I don't know if I like it on there right now. Even got some in little bottles. They have these at um, the Dollar Tree. Oh, I could have put that right there. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Usually you don't get many of the, I don't know what the, it's like a snail shell, that kind. I guess that's a snail, isn't it? Oh. I don't have many of those. Oh, I got some sand dollars. The bottle's cute. Yeah, it is kind of cute right there, isn't it? I'll have to go back, Deb, and look at my times I have for Monday and Wednesday. I may have screwed that up, too. So 
So I'm going to dab a little bit because when you use hot glue on metal, it doesn't like to stay forever. So I use DAP glue, rapid fuse glue. So I got to order some more. I say that for like the last two Every weeks. Every day. And then I'll put a little bit of hot glue on it to get it to stay instantly. But then that, uh, that rapid fuse will make it stay more permanent. go. God, I have sand dollars. Isn't that bottle cute? I think I'm going to glue it in there. Normally, I use wire. Oh, I got plenty of time. We'll use some wire. Yeah, you have 14 minutes. Left. It'll be okay. One day, Floyd found me, like, all different colors of wire at the Dollar Tree. So I could use raffia. I think it's hanging in the closet. So my room, this of course used to be a bedroom and it's got a really long um, closet. It's about four by nine. I took and put buckets on the walls and to put all my flowers in and then the, the rod for the clothes i left there and i hang two and a half gallon bags full of you're not seeing it well <laughs> he's afraid to go in there he might get attacked by i don't see it <laughs> all right i think it's in there i think you just don't see it i'll put it on with wire and then i'll, I'll cover it, be hanging in the, in a bag? it should be well, then it ain't in here I'll cover it up with raffia. So when I use the wire, you're stuck in the closet. I use a seven inch Tell him, like my mom used to tell me, if I go in that room and find it, I'm going to tell your hide. I'll take your money to watch that. Yeah. <laughs> you just had the raffle with it, don't you? Oh, you know what? Mm. Oh, it's off there. I thought maybe it was behind the watermelon. It'd be, it'd be okay, honey. I just use wire. I'll put raffle on it later. So then you can just take the needle and go straight through your stuff. So if you haven't um, heard me say it, we are raising money for Alzheimer's. The links are up at the top of the page. The, the link to donate directly to the Alzheimer's Association. You don't come to me. Is pinned at the top of the YouTube live. Ouch. And the Facebook live. And the link is in the descriptions. I think I'm going to put a little bit of glue on it too. Just to make sure. I'll glue the bottle to the shell. And then I make my own hangers. I actually, um, oh, I buy this. It's floral wire vine brown. It's kind of like a binding wire. And one strand of it is a little bit too thin. So I take it and I run down the hallway with it and run back and then we stick two ends in the drill and then I twist it together. I was hand twisting it for a while, but I'm like, oh, I would love just to make some of these ahead of time. 
So that's what we do now. So I just make it like a U. Attach it on each side. I try to go on set I outside of a pipe cleaner because then it doesn't slide. Well, I sure hope there's nobody on now. Screwed up the schedule. I want to thank everyone that has donated while we were live. We really appreciate it. Yep. You know, I like don't you know, I like participating in any kind of cause, but when it hits you hits home, it's a little more um, meaningful. Not that any kind of raise isn't. So I know some people don't do this, they don't like to, but I actually do take a little lighter to the ends of my ribbons where it's all fuzzy. Because no matter what you do, it will always get a little bit fuzzy. I usually don't do this on the live, but since I have a couple minutes. minutes. Okay. But pixie size wreaths are fun. They're smaller for people who maybe don't have the room. You're still not going to get my pixie wreaths in between a storm door. Because I, unless I do a pancake one. I even have a hard time making my pancake bows skinny enough for that. If you've been with me through at Christmas time, you know that I... Just don't make little wreaths. You burn your own count. You, you barely have to touch it. It's just where all that little fuzziness is from cutting it. I like to give it a clean. Come on. I got a fan going and an air conditioner going, so it's. So you just barely touch it, even if you just like if you hold it like really, really super close, it just gets those little fuzzies. Pam is gonna be one of Angela and I's roomies when we go down to Louisiana in September. You wouldn't burn your home down. Your doggy now. That thing. Pam can't wait. I know. Now, Pam, I don't know if, if you have looked at your, your uh, flights. I get in at 155 and Angela gets in at 140. I changed my flight. I wasn't going to sit there for two hours. <laughs> I'm going to switch the camera for me. Try to uncover that. Yep, and Diane, or Dean, well, Dean's going, hi, JoJo. So here's my little pixie wreath. It's covering... You know, if it's covering your sign, jerk your sign over, move your loops, cut your tail, do something. There we go. You wrong way. Always turn the wrong way. Yes, we do have to decorate a sombrero. 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 Whatever. 
He makes the fun the way I talk. Is that, a, is that another one of them Illinoisms? No, it's not an Illinoisms. No I just offense don't... to anybody else on the live that may be from Illinois. <laughs> that was directed at Jeanette only. Oh, honey, this oh, is a yeah, huge. This, this is this is little compared to what she normally makes. This is this is a baby. Yeah, but Deb's all used to little crafts. So here's my craft I made yesterday in one of some. I was in an event, and it was about father's favorites. So my dad and I like to fish. Got a little bit of glare from the Mod Podge. So I thought that was cute. Again, I want to thank everyone for joining us today. And thank you for everybody who sprinkled the glitter. And to those of you that donated during our live today, thank you so much. It is greatly appreciated. Very much so. Thank you, Joanne. Thank you, Deb. So I will check the times that I'm supposed to be on tomorrow. I'm hoping it's still 8 o'clock, but I'm going to yeah, double it's check. 8 o'clock Central or 8 o'clock Eastern. I know. That's why I got to look. <laughs> Thank you, Patty. Hi, Michelle. Thank you. All right, guys. Um, it does add up. That is absolutely for sure. So, all right, guys, have a great um, rest of your night. It's the end of the weekend. Not for me. I'm off tomorrow. Woohoo! Um, but we'll talk to you later. Bye bye, everybody. Bye, everyone. Oh, she said Deb posted your schedule for eight Thank Easter. you. Thank you, Deb. <laughs> have a good night, everybody. I thought it was. I just, I had it in my.